Hey everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be building a mini six by 10 inch squirrel picnic table as seen on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you see it on. Um, but yeah, it's just the corn cob is stuck on a little stake on a mini picnic table and then the squirrels look like they're having dinner at the picnic table. So hopefully it'll provide some entertainment in the backyard. I'm just gonna use some scrap wood. I've sketched up some rough plans I'll show you and I'll try to post them in the description below. But other than that, I'm gonna kind of walk through the process of building this, the assembly, and I'll show you the finished product at the end. Hope you enjoy. All right, so here's the rough plans I've sketched out. I've got the kind of the finished product, what it's supposed to look like here. You can see it's got the little spike where you put the corn on, and then, um, you know, it just looks like a picnic table. Really, I just wanted to get down to this down here. So this is kind of my uh, cutting list, if you will. So I need five pieces that are two by 10. These are gonna be the benches, uh, on each side, the two benches, and then three top slats. And then I'm gonna need the legs, which are, uh, you know, two on each end. So I'm gonna have two by, uh, four pieces, two by six inches. And then I'm gonna have the bench support, which is this part right here. So that's what the benches are gonna rest on. I'm gonna need two of those. And then I'm gonna do uh, two one by six pieces as well, which are gonna be these top slat supports. So I'll blow a little times two there. So I'm just gonna cut all these pieces down here and then assemble them like that. And then at the very end, it'll be pretty easy just to pound a nail through this top board here. So we don't have to do any, any pre-cutting for that. Um, but yeah, let's get going. All right, that actually didn't use as much wood as I expected it to. I think I only used uh, two of these drawer sides total. So um, more for next time, I guess. But here are the parts that I've all that I've cut out. So I've got the, these are the three top parts of the picnic table. So they'll sit like that. Um, I did trim these, they're about one and three quarters instead of two, just so you can have a little bit of a gap between them. Just adds to that picnic table you look. And then on these, I actually used the rounded edges for the edge of the, of the benches. Just thought it would look kind of cute. Um, have rounded bench edges. So it's two of those, and then the bench supports, the top slat supports, and the four legs. So the four legs are gonna be a little, uh, the four legs are gonna need a little bit of cutting because if you want, if you want to make it look perfect, it'll look something like that from, from the side view. And if you really wanted to make it perfect, you know, you could cut these at probably a 15 or 20 degree angle. That way, if you set it on concrete or flat ground, then it would, then it would sit flat. I'll probably do it just for the aesthetic. Uh, and then also, uh, you might actually have to do the same to the top because you'll see that uh, those are sticking up above. You could lower them a little bit, but it just gives you less to grip onto when you nail it into the support board. And so I'm probably gonna shave off um, a little bit of that 15 or 20 degree angle before I start assembling it all. Okay, so I trimmed the four legs and now they look like this. This was a 22 and a half degree angle in case you're curious. What it's gonna look like is just like that. So now it looks like it would actually sit flat like a picnic table and then you won't have that corner sticking up either. All right, so I'm using a Porter and Cable compressor set to 70 PSI and then a Porter and Cable trim nailer with one and a quarter inch nails. And so these are about three quarter inch uh, pieces. This is the same wood that I cut up here. It's all three quarter inch. And what I'm gonna do is just put a nail through it. That way we can see and make sure that it's not gonna go too far or that it actually goes all the way through. So it's actually just uh, set into the surface of the wood on this side and then it comes out about a quarter or about a half inch on the other side. And so this will give us some good grip, some good grab into the other pieces. Okay, we're down to the final part of this. So I've got it all assembled. I'll show you, I'll zoom out a little bit in a minute. But now uh, I'm gonna put the nail on. So this is what's gonna hold the corn cob in place, which I actually don't have any corn cobs, unfortunately. But, so I don't split the wood. I wanna drill a, a starter hole 
and so I want to make sure that my nail is just a little bit bigger than my screw or than my bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole and then pound the nail in. Hopefully it doesn't split. All right, there's the finished product. So we have our little squirrel picnic table. It is so cute. Uh, I wish I had a corn cob I could stick on here and show you the final look, but I'll have to post on Instagram and show you a video of a, of a squirrel eating off of it or something in the backyard. I'm actually just going to set this on top of the log pile in the back. I don't have like a, a good mount for it yet, and I, I really don't like nailing into the trees. Um, but if you have a wooden post out in your backyard or something you can put in the ground, you could just nail this directly to that. Um, you could maybe be creative, find some sort of uh, way to mount it to a tree without nailing into the tree or if you don't care about the tree then just nail right into the tree um, but that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like and subscribe button and have a good one